guys, so here I am on a windy day. I'm going to attempt to show you how to make um, these little Easter decorations. So you can obviously fill them with uh, real chocolate eggs, real eggs, uh, bags of mini eggs, you name it. They're, um, they're just cute and they look nice in the house. And the good thing is, is they're not just for Easter because afterwards you could use them to um, like add a, a small plant, which is nice. So you need about four, well, you need four lengths of a string or rope. Um, and they're about one meter length each, okay? And then all you're gonna do is just, it's a simple overhand knot. So where you grab all the lengths, pop them in a loop, and then pull them all through at once, like so. Let me maybe get this one out of the way for a second. Okay, so that's that bit there. Then we're gonna decide where we want our egg, and this is gonna be where the top of the egg goes. And we need to leave, it's gonna, it's gonna be about half the distance, okay? So you're going to take two strings at a time. Again, exactly the same, overhand knot, loop, pull them through. Um, parcel string would work for this, and that's still available in the supermarkets when you go on your weekly shop, and that would look quite nice, even though it's plain in colour. It's quite, um, could look quite natural, but you could also dye it maybe. Um, maybe some natural dyes you have at home. Um, yeah, have a, little, have a little experiment, that's what craft and Easter is all about I'm sure. Hopefully these will brighten up your house. So all I'm doing is doing four knots in pretty much the same position with a pair of rope, uh, a pair of string each time or wool. This wool's from Shaw's, isn't it fabulous? Um, and then they're currently closed but they do do online actually. Um, and then you grab one from the right, one from the left. Now again this this knot would depend on the size of the egg that you're putting inside. So when it's small, it does need to be small, but if you're gonna put maybe chocolate big eggs in there, then you'd need to drop it down to about the size of the egg, and then it'll fit in there nicely. So just getting one from the right, one from the left, from each pair. And again, they should be about the same height to each other. This knot here. And fourth pair here. See, so yeah, I've got no chocolate eggs in my house. Is that an urgent supply? Can I go in <laughs> to the supermarket for that? There you go. So that's my little net that I've created. And then the final knot is just grabbing all of them again, looping it round, popping all of the threads through. Make sure you don't miss one. And then again, leave that knot if it's sort of a small egg. Oh, miss one. Fairly close to the bottom. Otherwise, you're gonna have big holes, and your egg's gonna fall out, which could be a bit, bit messy. So just grab some scissors and even those off. And then grab an egg carefully. And obviously, you can paint and decorate your eggs, or you could even use balloons if you weren't too sure about putting an egg inside. I think I made mine a bit too big. I'll, ha I'll have to buy that chocolate egg just so it can fit inside. There you go. It's alright once you space it. Cool. Alright, and then I'm just going to show you, that is a little bit too big, um, how to make this slightly more difficult one as well. So, what you can do for that one, I'll come on this side, is you can cut two shorter lengths, so about a metre, and then two longer lengths, which are about two metres, and I'll try and explain to you now why. So, the two shorter lengths are going to run through the middle, all right? They're going to be that knot, those kind of ones that never do anything when you do a square knot, whilst the longer ones are going to work really hard. They're going to be the ones that do all the knots on the outside. So this is a really good way of not wasting string. So hopefully you can see those are about the same, well, a bit longer actually, than the final product. And then these are double that length. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to do a square knot, but I'm going to use two strings each time. So here we are, my number four, over the four strings in the middle, the two on the right, pulling that through the centre, rolling it up. Again, number four, over the front, pulling it through, rolling it up. So as you can see here, I did that maybe 15 or 20 times. 
I won't keep you that long. I'll just do a few um, just to show you. And then when you're happy with the length, so I would suggest that you've got to a length where these longer ones are still longer than this because you can add another spiral with the excess underneath. So when you're happy that you're, they're still a little bit longer, maybe about this long, okay? Then you can start to build your um, net. So again, two from the right, two from the left, pairs, do a knot, do a knot, do a knot. So exactly the same as this design. And then underneath, you can continue. You can grab your four short ones, run those through the center, the two long ones on the right, two on the left, and then you just do a square knot until all the ends are the same. And then you can just cut it off. Very, very little to cut off if you try that method. All right, I hope that's nice. Do send me some pics of them in your house. Thanks.